going guys i'm steve welcome back to the channel welcome back to another video if it's your first time stopping by the channel hit that subscribe button trust me you won't regret it you're a returning subscriber as always guys welcome back and i do appreciate the support guys i got some international news for you guys today this supposedly happened on august 17th so three days ago in seoul korea this story right here man it's hard to believe and i wanted to share it with you and uh it's about a missing woman that was found dead in one of the places you would never expect her to be found. The exact police car that was supposed to be looking for her. Not only was this woman found dead, this woman was in the police car for 36 hours amid blistering heat before she was found, which led to her death. So you could only imagine how that looked and smelled when the police was, got the surprise of their life. Take a look at this story and we'll come back and talk about it. A patrol car is parked at a local police station. Police cordoned off the area around the car. On August 17, a woman in her 40s was found dead in the backseat of this patrol car at around 2 p.m. The woman, who had a history of mental illness, was reported missing on the night of the 15th after she left home and didn't return. When police officers got into the patrol car to search for the missing person, they noticed a woman collapsed in the backseat of the vehicle and confirmed it was a woman they were looking for. Based on the time of discovery, the woman is believed to have been trapped in the car for approximately 36 hours amid blistering heat, since the back doors of patrol cars cannot be opened from the inside as they are designed to prevent escape. The front seats are also separated from the back by a partition. How did the woman manage to enter the parked patrol car? The CCTV footage shows a woman opening the back door of the patrol car and entering it at around 2 a.m. on August 16, which is just a few hours after she went missing. The car had remained unused until the time of her discovery at around 2 p.m. the next day, when the police officers opened the car to go searching for her. The incident sparked concerns over possible police negligence, as a patrol car's door, which should have been locked to prevent theft or an authorized access, was found unsecured. The police, however, said the patrol car in which the woman was found was one that's rarely used. According to a preliminary autopsy conducted, it was discovered that the woman may have died from hyperthermia. The temperature in Hadong on August 16 to 17 reached over 34 degrees Celsius, with a heat wave warning being issued. The National Police Agency, meanwhile, is currently investigating the police station in question to determine if there was any procedural lapses. Guys, you heard the story it says this uh, story took place in the place called Heidong, South Gyeongsang Province. Shout out. It's a lot of words. You know what I mean? Shout out to, uh, to the province. But um. I thought this was an extraordinary story. I did. This is something that sounds like a scene out of a movie. Now, this woman was reported missing. I'm looking at this article. It says, in an unexpected turn of events, said a woman was reported missing on August 17. In an unexpected turn of events, local police revealed on August 18 that she appeared to be to have entered the empty parked car, police car, for unknown reasons and was able to, unable to get out for 36 hours amid a blistering heat and it led ultimately to her death. So the back doors didn't have no uh, handles on them. My car is like that. I have a, a 2011 uh, Crown Vic, a police car, a P71 model, and it's no back, back door once you back there, you back there. Now, I don't have a partition on mine. I brought mine from an auction. I don't have the partition, you know, but a lot of police cars had that partition. It's basically a vault or a tomb. They put you back there. You at the mercy for somebody to come and open the door handle and let you out. Some odd reason this woman was dealing with uh, mental illness, ventured out. I don't even think she even knew it was a police car. She just was walking around, came across and jumped in it. But either way, man, that's a horrific death. Heat stroke. Now, in the video, it said she had hypothermia. I don't know if that's the right word because I thought hypothermia dealt with cold. But then again, hypothermia might be 
when your body's tricked in and believing that the temperature outside, you're feeling the opposite of said. So like if people that are, you know, have hypothermia, if they're in the water, they might feel hot and the water's cold or they might go to sleep or people that are in avalanches a lot of times, they would say right before they're about to die, they start to overheat. And then when they find these people under the snow that have been up buried for some days or whatever, a lot of times they clothes be off because they feel like they hot. But either way, man, they finally go looking for this woman. Go outside, get in the car and find her slayed over in the back seat, dead and bloated, stinking. Jesus Christ, man. Prayers to the family. But either way, man, this is something that I mean, you can't even make this up. It's something like you wouldn't think about. This woman lost her life, and uh, it says surveillance footage shows the victim entering the unlocked vehicle in the police station's parking lot through a back door at around 2 a.m. local time on August 16th. So, yes, yeah, she was wandering at night. The car had remained unused until the time of her discovery around 2 o'clock on August 17th. So, yeah, about 36 hours by a police officer. Victim's family had reported her missing three hours before her discovery. So she was already gone for a while. And they must have been waiting for her to come back. Then when they. Uh, so I guess over there in Korea, when they say you missing, people start looking for you almost right away. They don't have no uh, grace period hoping you'll come back. It says, given that there were no apparent signs of foul play, the authorities are considering her death to be related to heat related illness because they're going through a heat wave where they were but um said so they've been going through a heat wave since july 23rd now there's only one article about this and i just came across this article here on youtube it's a place it's a channel called korean news and they got some good stories on there i might do another one today we'll see because i got another one that i think it's crazy and it it's reflective of the type of stuff people go through in relationships in America, but you're seeing it in other places. But again, then again, the relationship between man and woman is universal all the way around the planet, especially with affairs of the heart. But either way, man, prayers go out to this woman, the victim, and the victim's family. It's a rough way to find a loved one, man. And uh, it's hard to fathom. Stock Market Steve for the Dynamic Reason channel. As always, like, comment, share, and subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care. Oh, yeah. One more thing. I wonder if it's like it is over here where the police department can get sued for some type of uh, irresponsibility. I was thinking about that. Woman was mentally ill. She came across the car, found out. I don't know how it is. The legal system is over there. But it's just interesting to see if, you know, they have a lawsuit or if they have a case pending because in the article, in the video, it says, you know, they were investigating to see if the police had negligence. And I'm like, OK, they left the door unlocked. That's a lot of different mitigating factors that can lead to the car being unlocked. But who gets in the police car? So it's just one of them things. Thanks for listening.